Well, there's a movement in West Oakland to bring healthy food choices to local grocery stores, or actually liquor stores, I should say. Different? Yes. That's because the Healthy Neighborhood Store Alliance is creating a food secure community. And to explain what this means are my next guests. Joining me now is Mariela Cedeno. She is the Senior Manager of Mandela Marketplace and Jamila Isaac. She is a WISE, W-Y-S-E, team leader. And I have to ask you, what does WISE stand for? WISE stands for West Oakland Youth Standing Empowered. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies, for being here. Thank you. You know, over the years, um, I, we've done many interviews about the need for more grocery outlets in West Oakland, you know, more access to food. You guys are actually making it happen. Yes. And how are you making it happen? Well, actually, um, due to West Oakland doesn't really have many um, grocery stores and about 20 between 25 to 20 to 25,000 residents. Mm -hmm. um, it's only one grocery store in the whole um, West Oakland due to West Oakland is only about 30 blocks long. So we have 48 corner stores in West Oakland. Seems 48 like corner stores. Mm -hmm. 48 corner stores, exactly. Okay. So it seems like it's one on every corner um, due to um, just a lot of liquor and junk food um, that people go and buy, but it's no excessive. Um, produce is not accessible to these grocery stores, well, corner stores pretty mm -hmm. much. Um, so we just make it accessible to the community by bringing in fresh, affordable produce to these corner stores. Okay, and why is that important? I mean, healthy food is important, you know, mm -hmm. having access to food is a basic human right. So, you know, um, we started really to help launch Mandela Foods Cooperative, which is the only grocery store, full retail grocery store in West Oakland. And when that got off the ground, we realized that there was a need to really increase retail access points. Mm -hmm. Not everybody was going to rush to Mandela Foods Cooperative right when it opened. So we thought, how do we meet people where they already go, right? And most people in West Oakland are really going for most everything, you know, um, at corner stores. Mm -hmm. So we thought, okay, well, we'll bring the healthy stuff to the corner stores. So that's how it all got started. And by corner stores, most of the time we're talking about liquor, liquor stores. stores. Yes. Sure, yeah. So obviously they don't have fresh produce. Right. No. Yep. So if you're going to them and knocking on the doors and saying, I want to bring in, you know, and we have a, a great display here yeah. as an example, asparagus and, and bell peppers and fruits and vegetables, they say, I'm sure they're looking at you like, why do I want to do that? It's pretty interesting, and Mila can talk more about this, but we've had, you know, there's two takes. One, stores that have actually tried to bring in produce, uh -huh. and it's gone not very well because they've bought, you know, a whole lot that just didn't sell. Mm -hmm. um, corner stores, the, the amount of produce they really can sell is small, small mm -hmm. quantities every day. Mm -hmm. So they're buying, you know, a thousand onions and stocking them, poor quality onions, stocking them somewhere, and 98% of them go to waste. Oh, right. Um, the other half is people who are just like, why would we sell produce? That makes absolutely no sense. Mm -hmm. And that's really where the WISE team comes in mm -hmm. um, to really educate. And we have the, the WISE team is made up of young people. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you go in, you literally go in and try and sell this stuff. Yes, pretty much. We actually go in ourselves um, and pretty much pitch off to the store owners why they should take our product. Okay. Um, so the good thing about us and our model is that uh, why these um, corner store owners are actually going to distributions and getting bulks of this produce and most of it is going back anyway. They are able to get um, organic pesticide free or sustainably grown uh, fruits and vegetables from us mm -hmm. but not as bulk. They are able to get it by count. And so by let count. me ask you, so this is a, a sample of some of the types of food you would bring. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you would bring groceries or produce to the stores and mm -hmm. that's what they sell. They buy this from you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they in turn sell it to the exactly. public? Yes. Okay, so you have to determine, as a young person, you're getting into retail and, and food distribution. Yes. So you have to figure out how many potatoes they can sell, how many, you know, fresh um, peaches or nectarines they can possibly have without a lot of spoilage. Yes. So how are you managing to do that? Well, um, if we start off a new store, we'll just start mm -hmm. off with, um, a small amount mm -hmm. or we'll also give the store owner um, a, a produce list so he know all the produce we are able to get a hold of mm -hmm. and he makes his own um, very first um, delivery. Okay so they make a choice as to what they want to yes. carry. I understand that you did an extensive survey of the community on what they want. Mm -hmm. Is that what they're telling you? That they want to be able to just go down to the store and pick up some fresh items? Yeah. Yes. So not only are we, we bringing in produce, but we also bringing in produce that the community wants to see in the store, mm -hmm. that they want to able to, that they have accessibility to buy. Like, for example, we may 
um, have a survey or a table out doing surveys and we'll ask the community or a person to stop and take the survey. They wish for strawberries or they wish for plums. Um, we bring them in when it's available, um, when it's in season. Mm -hmm. And it's also a match with, you know, as, as time has gone by, uh, customers themselves have asked the store owners, you know, we want produce. So the word is spreading. The word is spreading, yes. yeah. 48 corner stores, <clears throat> you have actually four stores that have signed up for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, it's a small incremental pro uh, progress. Yep. But I'm sure that as the stores are getting more popular because people are looking for their, mm -hmm. their yes. fresh food, others will join you. Yeah, and, yes. and, and you know, community residents are starting to get wind of what the WISE team and Mandela Marketplace does. And so okay. they've, we actually recently, about a week ago, had somebody um, email us and say, we want produce in this corner store. Mm -hmm. We're going to go in and harass the store <laughs> owner. And then we want you guys to come in and really pitch off what the service is. Why ask young people to do this work? Well, the part, you know, um, uh, Mandela Marketplace is a nonprofit is really about creating food enterprise. And so though half of our um, goal is really to bring f food access and, and food and security issues. Mm -hmm. The other half is really enterprise. Mm -hmm. So we want to create entrepreneurs. We want to foster entrepreneurship. Have you met the uh, uh, Financial Women's well, Association? I know. I was I know. thinking yeah. while I was watching them. I know. The, the interview before. <laughs> They're totally perfect for me. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. We have so, to get you involved with them. Yeah. And they, so the idea there was really to um, figure out a way to create uh, a, a project where youth could really become involved and not just the food access, nutrition, education part, which is really important, but also foster these skills of retail. You know, they do, and we have a, you know, they do inventory, they do quality control, they build the relationship with the customers, they build the relationship with the store owners, and all those skills are things that are transferable to whatever. So they you're go doing to next. all the work. You're doing the publicity, and you're doing the, uh, I understand, you actually go in and create a little display. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you're just kind of learning on the job? Um, ideas come along here and there. Uh -huh. um, and then I take those ideas, share them with my team members, and then someone else add a little something to it. Just make it better. Very good. Congratulations on, on a great job, and let's let people know how to contact you. If you want to find out more information about Mandela Marketplace and the Healthy Neighborhood Store Alliance, give them a call at 510-433-0993 or visit hnsa.mandelamarketplace.org.